Taylor. And I'm Jen. We're from Apartment Barcelona and welcome to the beautiful Park Well. Originally designed as a housing site, it was unsuccessful, but we couldn't be more happy. It's free to the public and it is part of an UNESCO heritage site. So let's check it out. Get going. We're here at one of my favorite parts of the park. This is Gaudi's multicolored mosaic dragon fountain you can find here at the entrance. It has become a symbol not only of Park Well, but of Barcelona itself and of all of Gaudi's other works. The water that comes out of its mouth down here is from all of the rain that's collected at the top of the park. It flows through different tubes that come and enter into this big fountain. Pretty cool, huh? Columns are very similar to Greek Doric columns, however, with Gaudi's interesting and unique taste, the columns are exaggerated just a tad. Originally, this was supposed to be a marketplace. That's why there are only 96 columns, because Gaudi didn't want there to be too many columns to avoid crowding. In return, we get these awesome mosaic tiles up above us that add some color to this otherwise pretty dull colored area. Pretty cool. If you can see behind us, the famous park benches of Parkwell are located right on top of the chamber behind us. Interesting fact, each of the columns are actually hollow so that the water can flow from the top where the park benches are, down to the cistern below, and out the mouth of the dragon as we saw earlier. Let's go up to the benches and get a better look at the city. This is definitely one of the most lovable and favorite places of tourists and locals alike here at Parkwell. This long bench surrounds the entire terrace and is in the shape of a sea serpent, which creates a harmony between nature and architecture. The inventions you can find here in the benches are actually left behind from the construction period of workers who actually sat here. Today it's used as a perfect seat and is a nice place for relaxation. Tour's not over just yet. We're going all the way up there. Let's go! go. We are now at the highest point of the park, also known as the Calvary, Coro de las Tres Cruz, and it dates back from 1941. Originally, Gaudi did not want this to be here. He wanted to build a chapel, but then they found some prehistoric remains, which made this the ultimate choice that they had to go with. runway scene in Cycle 7, where Charity English won the crown. This is one of Gaudi's three viaducts that connect together to surround the entire park. It looks a bit different, doesn't it? Here we have a bunch of dirt, dirt and earth and stone versus the normal traditional mosaic designs in the rest of the park. This particular viaduct was designed in the Baroque style, where the other two viaducts were designed in the Gothic and the Romanesque. Pretty cool, right? So that was Park 12. We hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hope to see you soon in Barcelona. Adios. Adios.